Quack! Hello and welcome back to Final Fantasy 1 Pixel Remaster. My name is Ben from Skinny Fat Duck and this is episode 9. And previously we got into sh some shenanigans, some shenanigans even, if I can talk. Uh, we got into some shenanigans at this here volcano that uh, surprisingly is not setting anything on fire but itself. And uh, we restored the fire crystal after defeating the uh, nefarious Marilith, or I believe her name is Carrie in other versions. And now we are headed outside, obviously. And I have, I normally don't have an idea of where I'm going in this game, but I do recall in the at the uh, beginning of the previous episode, I, I wandered around aimlessly quite a bit, and I remember coming across, um, before we found Crescent Lake, a another little port that didn't seem to have anything on it, ex with the exception of um, some weak enemies and a little canoe area which I don't think we had the canoe last time, so that's that's uh, that's the hunch I have. I'm wondering if there's something we can find up there. But that is what we're doing. But I hope you're all having a great day. If you oh, and I gotta say, great day, and then Jeff just uh, takes a nosedive. That's fantastic. Let's see. I do have life. And if I appear to look like I have no idea what I'm doing as far as uh, where stuff is and all that good stuff, I actually ended up picking up all three pixel remasters that are available right now. And I've been kind of bouncing between two and three while obviously leaving this one for, um, you know, for recording or for this let's play rather. And, um, so yeah, I have uh, I have a lot of different stuff on my on my brain. Obviously, very different games altogether. Um, so it looks like maybe we used a bunch of potions. We have a ton of gill. But yeah, if I seem a little bit confused about some things, that's probably why. Go ahead and stock up on some restoratives and I must have made a ton of money last time because I do not remember having this much excess but hey I'm not going to complain um I'm wondering If I had to guess, we probably have all the spells that we can get currently, but just to make sure before we move on. Stone, protect, yeah, we already have all that. We do not, okay, yeah, because the red mage can't use that, so it doesn't even matter. However, I wonder if he'll be able to use it after we get our job upgrade. I kind of... Oh, you can't even buy it until you can use it. Okay. I was going to say I could just go ahead and buy it and have it, have it ready. But as far as the other pixel remasters um, and our coverage here on the channel... We do have a preview of Final Fantasy 2 up, and I didn't do one, and, and the preview basically is uh, just like the first 25-30 minutes, so you can get an idea without any commentary. If for whatever reason you haven't played a 30-plus year old game, uh, you know, you can, you can check it out, which I'm sure most RPG fans at this point have played Final Fantasy 2. Uh, but 
you still may not know what to expect in the pixel remaster so you can check that out would definitely appreciate it um we do not have any coverage of final fantasy 3 and the reason why is because i was actually considering doing a playthrough of it because that is one of few retro final fantasies that i have not beaten I've started it many, many times. I even had, I may have mentioned this in a previous episode, but I had the uh, imported Famicom version. Um, imported Famicom version of both Final Fantasy 2 and Final Fantasy 3. And uh, I just, I don't know. It never, I like the job system, but it never just really, uh, really got got my gears going I guess so I was going to do some coverage on it but I decided not to so I'm thinking after this concludes uh, everybody might be looking for something a little bit different and I might also so I'm just going to postpone the Final Fantasy 3 coverage and do something else which I do have a couple ideas Having said that, I do plan on doing a full playthrough of my very favorite Final Fantasy game and one of my favorite games of all time, Final Fantasy IV, whenever it does come out. And I'll probably do one of six also, just because it's so iconic. And yeah. So that's kind of what we're thinking with that. And I may do like an impressions video since I've played all three of the current pixel remasters. I may do a little impressions video just kind of talking about what I think about them. I feel like a lot of people are giving them crap, which, you know, I can I can understand some of it because these games have been repackaged and repurposed so many times. However, if you're a fan of the games, or even if you aren't, if you're just a fan of retro RPGs, you know, there's there's a lot to enjoy. And these are definitely if you're if you're like me and you've gotten used to modern conveniences and retro RPGs, you know, where you have the auto battle and stuff like that, I mean, this, these are great versions to have. Are they the definitive versions? Maybe not. But that doesn't mean they can't be good. So keep your eyes peeled for that. I still haven't decided whether I'm going to do that or not. But if I do, it'll be up on the channel, Skinny Fat Duck. We definitely appreciate all the support. And of course, if you do like what you see, consider subscribing. If you don't like it, dislike it, that's fine too. We just appreciate you being here. And I do believe that I saw some sort of cave down there. We'll just go ahead and head that way. And I will say off the bat, having played uh, Final Fan Fantasy 2 and 3, oh no. I thought we were making progress. Oh, never mind. I went through I went through the wrong channel. But as I was saying, since I've been playing 2 and 3 so much recently, 3 is so much harder than 1 and 2, like leaps and bounds uh, beyond. And I mean, I'm pretty sure that was the case in the original versions also. And of course, 3 has the notoriously long final dungeon. And who knows how difficult it is in the pixel remaster. I imagine it's not as difficult. But it's still nice to, uh, you know get get some uh, oppression or some pushback I guess you could say on certain things 
Because it's not always fun to just run around and stomp everything. Ooh, I saw a weapon. Okay, maybe not. Anyway, here we go. To be completely honest, it's been a few days since I've played this game, and I'm not entirely sure where we're supposed to go. And of course, many retro RPGs are notorious for not telling you where to go. You know, the, the thrill of exploration, as they say. Okay, Cavern of Ice. So we definitely haven't been here. Now, whether or not this is where we need to go, that's a whole nother story. But we'll make our way through here. So, all right, a couple, several doors, some stairs. I will say I didn't quite remember how powerful black belts were uh, in this game and even in Final Fantasy 3. Like, they are just wickedly powerful. And, you know, obviously you don't have to worry about equipping weapons or anything like that, which I say that, and I know that I equipped a weapon on this monk here. Uh, you know, for the better part of this series, but I learned, let's just say I learned the hard way. All right, it doesn't look like there's much of anything here, so we'll just go, go for the gold. But yeah, they're super, super duper powerful. And red, red mages are so good too. I mean, yeah, obviously they aren't the best casters, aren't the best, you know, they're jack of all trades. That's what they, that's the whole thought process behind them. They do such a good job. I'll be curious about all the class changes once we get to it. And to be honest, I obviously know that it's coming up at some point in the foreseeable future, but I don't remember whether you have options or anything like that. Or if, like, it's just kind of, okay, well, if you're a warrior, you're going to be a knight now. Honestly, don't remember for sure. But I'm looking forward to checking it out again. Is my mage... Oh, I don't think you have a front and back row here. Like I said, bear with me. Two and three have front and back rows, and so... I'm, uh... I'm forgetting... Forgetting where I'm at. Let's see what we got. Oh, I fell for the... The lamest book in the... Uh... Yeah, that was, uh, that was my bad, obviously. Really amateur adventurer mistake right there. Please don't paralyze me. Oh, and speaking of black, black belts or monks being powerful, at least in the early to mid game, tell you what, Final Fantasy II, the shields are ridiculously powerful. I didn't I didn't realize just how much they were. Yeah, I figured those were going to hurt. I've always thought harm tiles are funny when they only damage like one little thing. 
All right, let's see what we got. This could be, this could be dangerous. I guess we'll find out. Ah, uh, not too bad. Ice armor. That'll probably help us here, I would imagine. And some mithril gloves. Which I think we already have, but that's okay. Ooh, that doesn't heal that much. I didn't realize how weak it was. That's like completely worthless. I should have just been using Dia. I forgot I had Diaga. Alright, is there anything... Okay, so there is one... Well, we gotta go down either way. We'll just go straight down this way first. Oh yeah, this is what I like to see. Bunch of gill. Oh, they can do Ice Storm too, but it's weak. Bunch more gill, more monsters. I probably should have healed. That's okay, we got preemptive, so we should be good. Monk is just absolutely murdering. Nice, bunch of gill, I'll take it. I can't believe the white mage's cure is so weak honestly really surprising please don't pour uh, of course gotta paralyze the two strongest attackers but well, they're just battering them all right now we can get out of here Honestly, as much as I hate the fact that we fell down the little trap trap deal, ice trap, probably would have wanted to come down here anyways, so. It all worked out, is what I'm trying to say. Ten thousand gil. All right, I don't think we've been in that door. Oh, and see, they were gonna try and get me right there. Sleeping bag, more money, and an ice shield. Oh, you know what? I should probably... Oh, I can't equip it to him. Well, that's okay. I guess this is the only place I can go. Oh. Oh, okay. That's fine. I'll take that. 
probably should have healed just to be safe. Ah, but we'll be alright. Ooh, this could be bad. That should be all right. All right, let's try this again. At least I'm getting good experience doing all this. I will say I have noticed in Final Fantasy 2 and 3, as far as the pixel remasters go, the random encounter rate goes down considerably. I'll say with... Um, oh, this is not good. Oh, no. good we're good oh maybe not oh slow is brutal are you kidding me all right we're good obtain clothes that's great Go ahead and use our good stuff. But yeah, the the random encounter rate goes down quite a bit. Now, how am I supposed to get that? Oh, I wonder if... Okay, I think I got it. Got a flame sword, which is nice. Not as strong as the ice brand, but you know, whatever. Um So Yeah, alright. Knew that was gonna happen. But I believe Oh my gosh. Alright, we're using Diaga. Just lay waste to everybody. Heck yeah. In fact, I may just start running. Is this just going to take too much time? We've fought plenty of battles. But it's time to run. Oh, you know what? I may need to go into the other room. Was it here or was it... Man, I can't remember. Let's just go up here. I think it was in here. I 
I hope I'm right about this, because if not, I'm not exactly sure what to do. Right here. Drop down right here. Yes. Oh, I didn't realize we were going to fight something. Um, I guess we'll protect. And we'll slow. I don't know. I should probably haste one of the fighters first. Big damage. Oh, that was nothing. I thought it would have been harder. What'd we get? Oh, nice. I say that as if I know what it's used for. If I had to guess, it probably has to do something with an airship. However, how we find an airship or anything like that, your guess is good is as good as mine. Really wish I had teleport. All right. Well, I think uh, I think that's going to do it for this episode. What I'll do is I'll just go ahead and make my way out of this dungeon, and when we return, we'll hopefully know or try and find a use for the Levistone. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, give it a like, consider subscribing, and we will be back with more content very soon. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.